Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's shop with me, we are doing a quick whip around the Reject Shop, Target and Kmart to check out what goodies are in store right now for autumn 2023. Today, we're gonna to be starting at the Reject Shop and we'll be finishing up in Kmart. So make sure you stick around until the end. And without further ado, let's wiggly woo. I love these mint green metal lanterns at the reject shop today. I love the color and the design of these ones. They actually have a few different options for lanterns in at the moment. These black and white ones are also metal and the tiny holes in these will create a kind of starry effect with the candle inside. They also have these ceramic lanterns in white and pink as well as the blue ceramic lantern which has a bit of an oriental vibe about it. These colored glass candle holders are super cute, definitely giving me a bit of a Moroccan feel. I love the different colors they have here and think they all look really nice together and they are a bargain at only $3 each. There are a couple of ceramic pieces featuring this art shape which has been super popular for quite a while now. You really can find some home decor bargains at the reject shop but always make sure to check that you are not buying something that is chipped or broken because there definitely seems to be a few of those. I love this little ring dish with the golden arch. It's a perfect piece of functional decor for a bedside table or dresser. I'm a big fan of things that look cool or kind of quirky, but also serve a functional purpose. And I generally try to avoid buying things that just look pretty and don't do anything useful. I thought this wire picture board was a cool idea. You could definitely have some fun with this one. You could use this to display pictures, kids crafts and drawings, or you could even weave some fairy lights through this for a cool effect as well. If you are looking for coasters, the Reject Shop has a few different options in store right now and they're all very reasonable prices. The marble and the wood coasters would also make for really good little candle stands for those large pillar candles just to make sure that you're protecting your surfaces from any dripping wax and these coasters are a kind of cool way to do that while still looking super stylish. I am a big fan of these stemless champagne glasses. I love that you can also just use them as regular glasses if you like as well. These ones look and feel rather high-end especially for the bargain price of only nine dollars for the set of four. These highball style glasses would be great as everyday drinking glasses as well and these ones are a total steal at only five dollars for a set of six. These Moroccan style spoon rests are absolutely gorgeous. I just love the patterns and the colors on these ones. These are only $3.75 each and I think one of these would make the perfect Mother's Day gift. I love all of these colorful Moroccan inspired plates and bowls at the Reject Shop. They've had these in for a little while now, but they seem to be always updating the different patterns and styles. I just love this dappled textured blue bowl. This looks more like something that you'd bring home from a holiday rather than something that you picked up at the Reject Shop. I really love the texture and the color on this one. These versatile cotton rope baskets are super stylish and they come in a few different sizes as well. I always love it when you can get things in a few different sizes. These look and feel really well made for the reject shop. These would be great for potted plants, blankets, towels, and just general storage. I really like the look of these ones. I absolutely love the idea of a collapsible laundry basket. This would be perfect for anybody with limited storage space that still wants all the perks of a really generous sized laundry basket. The Reject Shop has a huge range of pot plants. There are so many different sizes and styles and they are all really well priced. If you haven't checked out the Reject Shop for plant pots, definitely check them out. They are definitely giving Kmart a run for their money in the pot plant department. I absolutely love this huge Buddha head plant pot. It's total zen vibes with this one and the size is definitely big enough to make a statement. This would actually just look cool without a plant in it as well. This one feels really weighty, it's good quality, and it is a total bargain at only $12. I love the shape of these tall gray pots. I think they look really classy and elegant, and I love the range of neutral stony colors they have as well. I'm also really digging these angular pots. They have a rough kind of stony feel on the outside, but they're glazed inside. I always love this sort of contrast, but I really love the unusual shape of these ones as well. They come in a large and a medium size, and they also have this one in an earthy sort of terracotta up the back there as well, if you want something with a little bit more color than just the plain gray. These grey stone look pots have a really lovely classic shape to them, and they have a range of sizes to suit any space inside or out. 
These colourful terracotta pots are also really cute and cheery and they have little feet on the bottom as well which always adds a little something extra special which I love and they also come in a range of sizes. I love a small pot paired with a larger pot in the same style for a really cohesive effect. Next up, we are headed to Target, which is one of my favorite places for quality home decor. They always have a great range and their items are really good quality and they're always at very reasonable, affordable prices. I thought this little glass vase was so cute. I love this unique shape and the design. This would be perfect for a little posset of dahlias or something similar. I also thought this could be a really cute little funky candle holder as well. This ribbed ceramic vase also has a very unique shape. It kind of reminds me of like a barnacle that you find on the bottom of a boat or something. It has a lovely neutral color and would definitely complement a number of different interior design styles. I absolutely love these plant stakes. They are only $12, which is a total bargain, and they come in a pack of three different styles, and they also come in gold for a bit of a glam look, or you can get them in the classic white as well for something a little bit more traditional. These are a super fun and stylish way to give your climbing pants, pants? Climbing plants, some support, and get them growing upwards instead of trailing down, which will give those plants a fuller look up top. This is the large version of the barnacle vase that we looked at just before but this one has this sort of long flute at the top and I love this variation. I think this would be great for displaying thinner stemmed flowers like poppies or something like that or also for displaying long stemmed flowers like lilies that are a little top heavy or it would also just look great displayed on its own. I love this little watering can in white. It is super cute. It's cute enough to have on display while it's not being used to water your plants as well which I always love. I am an absolute sucker for a good wall hanger. The fabric not only adds a bit of texture, but it also adds a bit of warmth to any space. They are a really easy, quick way to add a whole lot of interest to a blank wall. And they're really lightweight and they're super easy to hang with just a single nail or hook. I love both of these color options. The white one is lovely and neutral and the other one has some beautiful earthy tones to it to add a bit of color while still staying in that sort of neutral color palette. This set of hooks with the rattan type arch detail at the top is another winner for me. I love the natural look. This would look really great in a hallway or near an entrance, near somewhere where you want to be hanging bags, scarves or any other bits and bobs as you're coming and going. This blown glass sort of look is very on trend at the moment. I love the colors here as well. This one looks white, but it actually has that blush pink color throughout it as well. These look and feel like really high quality pieces and each one is unique in its own right. These ones come in a few different color options and size options as well and they're all at very reasonable prices with the largest of the lot priced at only $25, definitely a good option for Mother's Day. I personally think Target has the best range of decorative cushions. I love a heavily textured cushion, so I'm sure you can see why I love this blue one. I love this blue color as well. I'm usually pretty fussy with color, but to be honest, I think they have got the blue just right on this one. This cushion is really dense as well. It feels super lush and high quality, definitely worth the $25 price tag. This forest green cushion also has a great texture to it. This one is $30 and is the perfect way to add a bit of texture and interest to a throw arrangement. I also love a long cushion and I love a tassel. Needless to say, I love this long textured tasseled cushion with this simple pattern and neutral color. Target just has the best range of these long style cushions as well. And these ones look really great paired up with a traditional square cushion to add some variety to a cushion arrangement. I love the terracotta color in this long textured cushion. Working in small amounts of color like this is a great way to break out of beige for people like me that are a little bit color shy when it comes to home decorating. I've been looking for an arch mirror for a while now, but it's really hard to find something that doesn't cost an absolute bomb. That's why I was so excited to find this one for only $80. It's a super simple arch design with a fairly narrow width. This one is designed to lean up against the wall though. I don't think it can actually be fixed to the wall, so just keep that in mind. Also, if you are ever getting mirrors like this from Target, always make sure to check the box before you take it home to make sure everything is intact and not broken. There were some really nice new wooden pieces in the kitchen section as well, including this stylish wooden salt grinder. Of course, they also have the pepper grinder to match, which comes in this beautiful black wood finish. These are super nice as a little set. The design is super simple, but very effective, and it looks super chic. 
This cake stand has a stunning combination of marble and wood. I absolutely love the grain of the wood on this base and I just love this piece generally. It's super solid and it's so elegant and sophisticated. This one is a real winner for me. This raised Lazy Susan is another piece in the same range that also has that lovely natural wood grain. This is another beautiful piece that has a kind of warm country charm feel to it. In the same range, they're really winning with this range at the moment, they have these beautiful raised serving platters. They have a really nice smooth finish to them. I love that they come in a range of different sizes as well. You can have a large one, which is perfect for serving up a grazing platter to a large crowd or a smaller one if you just wanna have a cheese board with a few friends. This round floor cushion is a really decent large size and it has a great amount of cushioning with more than enough fill inside. The fabric is really thick and ever so slightly textured and will be sure to go nicely with a range of different fabrics and indoor interior styles as well. Last but certainly not least, we have the ever popular Kmart. If you're looking for a great range at bargain prices, Kmart is your one-stop shop, but I'm betting if you're watching this, you already know all that. I thought this Verona floor lamp was a super interesting piece. It is a tall lamp, but it also has a little built-in table. This is definitely the first time that I've seen something like this, and I must say it's a bit bloody cute and definitely a really clever idea to add a bit of extra surface area or a nice spot to display some cute decor, especially if you are short on space but want a tall lamp with a built-in table. I also really love this Sloan floor lamp. I love the classic shape with the big arch and the overhang. This is a great lamp for some functional lighting to have above a reading chair or a seating area. And I just think it looks super classy and understated. This stacked pot holder with the stand is quite a nice little piece as well. I will say though that I don't love all of the plastic lining inside. Although I understand it is functional, it kind of just looks a little bit scraggly. To be honest, I feel like they probably could have done a better job on that. But overall, I don't mind the design. This rattan pot holder with the stand definitely looks a little bit more high end. It doesn't have that plastic liner, so you'll have to take the plant out to water it. But I just think it overall looks much cleaner and much more attractive. These little trays in the reactive glaze would be a great catch-all dish for car keys, loose change sunnies, that sort of thing. It has an interesting design at the base and being the reactive glaze, each one is unique and you are going to get a bit of colour variation as well. This one on the right has a totally different colour to the ones on the left and it gives it a totally different kind of look which I actually prefer. Guys, I am obsessed with this whiteboard wall planner. I love that it has the month view, a week view, and a day view all in the one board. I'm definitely a total list maker, and I love to visually see my goals and the progress that I'm making. You can use this to habit track, make a list, check things off, achieve those goals, baby. I think this is a serious game changer when it comes to productivity. Absolutely loving this one. I also really love this classic DIY letter board. So you you can create your own announcements, to-do lists, or quotes. These can look really cool when they're on display and they're a great way to get messages out to the whole family or just have some fun with some silly jokes or maybe even some motivational quotes. This Amelie table lamp is apparently a dupe of a $1,900 vintage designer Murano lamp, but this little lamp will only send you back $35, and I will say it looks pretty much exactly the same. It comes in this super cute peachy pink color, and it also comes in your classic white as well for something a bit more neutral. I love these porcelain bowls with the plastic lids. They are a very generous 800ml capacity, so enough space for your leftovers and then some. I love this speckled design and I also really like the sage green colour. These are both winners for me and I think these would be really great for taking soups or leftovers to work. You can whack it straight in the microwave. These coloured glasses definitely caught my eye and let's be real, you can probably see why these things are like bloody neon in your face colourful. I particularly love this violet, almost like cobalt colour. It's just so vibrant, not something I would personally buy for my own home. That is just way too much colour for my boring ass, but I am frothing this all the same. This wooden salt and pepper set is super stylish. I love the square shape and I think these just look so nice in the wood. There is one grinder for pepper and a shaker for salt. I think salt grinders are becoming a bit more popular these days, so I kind of wish they were both grinders. But if you do want two grinders, they also have this grinder set with the ceramic tops. I also really like these. I think they look great with the mix of wood and ceramic. 
This spoon rest is also very cute. The pattern reminds me of a dandelion. I love a good spoon rest. They're a great way to add a bit of fun, functional decor to your kitchen. This salad or serving bowl in the traditional white is a great size and it also has some lovely texture on the outside. It sort of has this cool plaster effect which totally elevates the look of this otherwise pretty basic serving dish. These mini cracker boards with the little wine holder are just so super cute. These would be great for a picnic or a party and a super bougie alternative to paper or plastic plates and plastic wine glasses. This wooden cake stand is nice and solid. It is made of acacia wood and it has a rather rustic sort of country feel to it and is not a bad price either at only $20. I just love these wheat straw sandwich boxes. They are just the right size and height for a sandwich. I love the idea of using these to save on plastic wrap and little glad bags and things like that. I'm also really loving these two cute colors as well. That's all for today, guys. I had a great time perusing the aisles and I hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride. If you did like this video, please make sure you give it a like. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. It really does go a long way in helping the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.